Hey guys, I feel like I'm crooked. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about my BBL journey and I'm going to tell you guys like a full cost of what everything for my BBL would have cost. Um, disclaimer, my surgery got canceled the day of surgery because I had a temperature. I got, I work with kids and those fucking nasty ass kids got me fucking sick and I thought I had got my temperature down and I got, I felt a lot better but I guess internally I wasn't better but like I felt better as a person but I guess internally I was still hot and um my doctor Dr. De Jesus she didn't feel comfortable doing the surgery and that's the thing if somebody doesn't if the doctor or the anesthesiologist doesn't feel comfortable with doing your surgery it will get canceled so yeah it got canceled so this is nothing against spectrum also I'm going to do a video which we right after that I'm going to look the same because I'm doing it right after this video about my experience with spectrum my experience was actually pretty positive so stay tuned for that video and look for that so let's get right into my pricing okay so first and foremost my bbl let's start from the beginning my bbl i booked back in august of 2019 i saw a post on um spectrum's website uh dr de jesus was four thousand um and you got five massages um or was it 35 i can't remember it was either like 3500 or 4000 with like five massages a surgery garment and you could have got a recovery house in the package for extra five hundred dollars for five to six days at the recovery house um but i didn't do that i stayed at a hotel anyway but so really my surgery was four thousand and fifty dollars so i put the deposit down of five hundred dollars um so i did that boom that was back in August or July, one of those. Um, I booked my surgery for March 4th, uh, 2020. Today's like March 13th or something. What's the day? March, cause my phone charged. March the 14th. So today's March the 14th and my surgery was supposed to be March the 4th. Um, but like I said, it got canceled. Okay, it got canceled. Don't ask me why, I already said it, had a temperature. All right, so, um, we're, okay, so surgery was 4,000, boom. So surgery was four thousand. Boom. Um, other things that I had to pay for. Like I said, I have another video. I don't know if I'm gonna upload it. That just because your surgery is like four thousand, five thousand, whatever the fuck it is, that's not the only money you're gonna spend. You're gonna spend money. Like you're gonna spend money. Like now that it's it's kind of like not good but because i got my money back that's another thing i got my money back for my surgery getting canceled the only thing i didn't get back was a thousand dollars but i didn't give a damn about a thousand dollars i already knew i wasn't gonna get that back so i didn't even care i got most of my money back so i was really happy about that but the thing now to well i know you need to have a lot of money do not just go there with what you think or what you think you need no 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 you need a lot of money like you need to probably save like almost the same amount of how much the surgery is just for other expensive and not the, the same amount but like especially like for my surgery was four thousand i would say i needed at least another two three thousand like but let me get into it so boom my surgery was four thousand boom put that on the screen bam next um uh, my hotel was one thousand and $1,036. I um, also will put right here the hotel that I stayed at. I stayed at the Best Western Premier or something. It's literally right behind Spectrum. Like, right behind. Like, I have a video in my phone. Like, I was vlogging and I think, no, it's not in my phone. It's actually a thing on this memory card or another memory card. Uh, like, literally, there's a, a wall and there's Spectrum right here and then there's a bank and then there's the hotel back here. Like, you can literally see Spectrum. You can throw a fucking rock in the window if you really wanted to. Okay, so I stayed at this hotel. I stayed from March the 3rd to March the 9th. That was a Tuesday to a Monday. And the hotel was, um, excuse me, the hotel was like $1,036. Um, that... Uh, that was around kind of, that's not one of the higher ones that's like one of like the middle ground ish the reason I stayed at this hotel because it was literally right by spectrum like I would you could walk like you could walk through the like the bank parking lot and even cut out a couple seconds like it's so so close but there's other hotels you can stay at that are a little bit cheaper but 
most hotels you're going to spend around 600 700 dollars you might catch some for like 500 but at the end of the day it's going to be farther from your surgery place so you're going to end up paying ubers or you're going to get a rental car so somehow some way your price is still going to go up or i was trying to like eliminate all the uber rides and stuff like that and if i would have had surgery i wouldn't have need um any uber rides because like i literally walked to pre-op then i walked back to the hotel i literally walked to surgery and then if i would have had surgery i would have walked back so it wouldn't have been bad but so the hotel was a thousand dollars um if you're thinking about staying at a recovery house um you could get it in your package like in spectrum they have them for five hundred dollars so and you can stay at a recovery house for five hundred dollars because you get a discount because they work with spectrum personally i mean if you do your good good research i just me personally i do not Sorry if y'all hear noise. Um, but personally, me, I do not trust recovery homes. Um, I've just heard so many bad things about recovery homes that I just can't get with it. Like, that's just not me. I don't know. Like, I, I could probably go. If, me coming down there and going to surgery by myself, I could probably do that if I had, like, a nurse or something. But I could not, like, be at these recovery homes because it's just so much bad shit you hear. Like, some girls have really good experiences, but some girl, like, some girl just got put out the other day because she was talking bad about her recovery home on her Instagram and the lady put her out. And I'm like yeah okay maybe you should be talking bad about these people like why are you still staying there but at the end of the day it's your experience so it is what it is and like how can you put out somebody that just got surgery done to them like how can you do that to somebody like that and the lady gave her a refund and everything but how can you put somebody out on the street that you know literally just got surgery it'd be one thing if it was the day before her surgery and it's like bitch fuck you now find somebody to take a few damn surgery but now it's like she had surgery and i couldn't even if even somebody was talking shit about me i wouldn't even do them like that like i wouldn't even do them like that i would just probably make it hard as hell for them in the house that they staying in the mind but i wouldn't put them out on the street but that's just me but you got to calculate um also a recovery house a lot of recovery houses are like usually above a thousand dollars like yeah i've seen one for like 1600 1200 1500 i've seen stuff for like that but they usually come with everything they usually come with transportation they come with food they come with um some of them even come with massages um you don't usually have to buy supplies they usually have chugs and all types of stuff and they usually go get your medications for you and so there is perks to going to a recovery home but um not it's not for me but it might be for you so we'll look into that so that's another cost so living expenses i would just bare minimum put how much um some place to stay i i would say a thousand just because i know it costs a thousand because that's how much i spent like two weeks ago, a week ago um because i today is from saturday i just got back on monday um so I know how much it costs. It's like a thousand dollars. Um, so you can put less, or you can go to stay in an Airbnb. Another thing about staying in an Airbnb, you need to tell the people that whoever house that is that you're getting surgery, or you need to be very, very sneaky about it. Like some girl on Facebook, what's another thing? Surgery communities, um, you guys can get involved in, but that's a whole nother topic, or whatever. But <laughs> that's a whole nother thing. But in this surgery community I'm in on Facebook, in this group this girl um told a story how she had just came down to get surgery she brought her boyfriend she brought her three fucking kids why why like come on girl you was better off leaving your boyfriend with the three fucking kids at the house and paying somebody to come and take care of you like why would you bring your three kids and they're not even older kids you got younger kids with you to go get surgery like it's one thing to bring one of your kids but it's you have three like three kids in an airbnb that she even said that the airbnb wasn't big enough for all of them so she I, this is the story so she was in airbnb i don't know how the front gate was set up but she was like somehow some way like when people first come to the house there it's either a front gate or a front door that's always locked and they don't when people can't get in and out to the house i don't know maybe it's a gate so that they can't even get up to the front door to like knock on the door so that you know they're there because she was like it was hard to know if somebody was coming and going if they ordered food or she would have masseuses but the thing is okay i get the order and food thing but if you have a massage you can let the massage people know like okay i have a gate so you have to call me when you're outside because i have to open the door for you so she calls the airbnb owner and tell them about this so i guess they showed up 
to, I don't know, unlock the gate or whatever with the door. And the lady saw her all bloody after surgery because, you know, you be bloody, you be dripping and shit. And she kicked her out. And I'm like, I can't even feel bad for you because at the end of the day, why did you have your three fucking kids with you? Number one. Second of all, why did you call this lady? Like, because you couldn't get to the, to the door? You had your whole boyfriend there. If y'all ordering food, tell his ass to go downstairs and wait. Okay, if you know the, the people make the people coming up there soon, wait. Like Grubhub and stuff tell you when they come in and Uber Eats tell you when they on their way or they real close. So why is he not waiting? Like, why did you call this woman? And she got kicked out. And like, could I feel bad for her? No. Like you was doing too much. You doing too much, sis. Like you should have just stuck it out and said it is what it is. Like just doing too much. So tell y'all people who's about y'all getting these Airbnbs. Um, tell the a host that you getting surgery or stuff like that, or be very secretive or something like that. Because or they'll have cameras and they can see you. So unless you know, maybe if you coming back from surgery, you going out, you need to keep yourself covered up. Don't look all bloody and shit like that. Because they will kick you out because they think you're gonna bleed on their um, mattresses, you're gonna bleed on their sheets, you're gonna do all types of stuff and leave it dirty. Which I understand why people would think that. But a lot of girls in these surgery communities and in these videos they you can see girls always make up the bed like I had made up the bed too before surgery like I had put down um what did I, I took all the sheets off the hotel bed not all of them I took like the big sheets off the hotel bed I put down shower curtains I put down a, like a mattress protector I put down two shower curtains a mattress protector and I had put down chucks on the hotel bed and that's what a lot of these girls do like they make up the bed but like i understand if i was that lady i wouldn't want you there in my shit so yeah airbnbs are usually cheaper but that's the thing like they could kick you out at any time like airbnb can literally just cancel your service whenever they feel like it i don't think a hotel can do that unless you are like disruptive but uh, Airbnb can literally just kick you out. So take that into consideration. But Airbnbs are always a good thing. A lot of girls do use Airbnb. So next is flights. My flight was like 400 or something dollars. I think it was like 407 dollars. It really would have been like three something lower threes. But I got um, seats with extra leg room um, when I came back. So for like when I came back from surgery. Which I probably won't do next time because... Well, I probably would do it next time. The only thing about that was is you can't have a bag, like a personal um, item bag. Like you can't put it under the seat. Like you have to put it up at the top. And if you know, I already had it, like an actual like carry on bag that I had to put at the top. And then I had another bag too that I had to put at the top. And like that's a lot of bags. And if the plane is crowded, there's not a lot of room to put all them damn bags everywhere. So I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Like it was nice. I had nice leg room and it would have probably been good for me coming back if I had my butt down. I probably would have just been on my knees and whatever but I don't know next time I don't know it's just like now I know how the process will go so it's like I don't know maybe next time I probably still would buy those seats but I just want to make sure that I have no carry-on bags with me like or a real real small something to bring back with me because I if I had been in hurting and in pain I wouldn't have been able to carry all that shit I had with me even though I didn't take a lot of stuff but I came back with a lot of stuff because I bought shit because I was out in my handy bitch okay then I have five massages already built into my package but then I also had bought another massage because I knew on that Sunday that um Spectrum wasn't open so I was gonna have to get another massage just not from Spectrum so I had did that and I paid for that that was another $95 most massages in Miami are like $100 95 85 around that range so if you don't have a package deal where it's included, you have to think about that cost of getting these massages. Another thing that I knew about, but other girls didn't know about was, I, I don't know how you would know about this, but um, it's your stage one Faja. My stage one Faja was included inside of my package deal, so I still actually have my stage one Faja. I kept that even though after they canceled my surgery I still kept it because I technically paid a thousand dollars for it so yeah <laughs> but I still have my stage one um Faha and some girl when I was at pre-op she was like I gotta buy that fucking Faha ain't nobody telling me that and then her friend was like oh you ain't having any your package deal she was like no and I'm like if you didn't have any your package deal you you know I, 
I don't know. Like, maybe people just don't be doing their research, but, like, you know you have to wear this faja. Like, you should know that. Like, if you're watching this video right now about BBLs, a faja is something that should not be something new to you because everybody knows you got to wear a faja right after surgery. Like, you might not know how long after you got to wear the faja, but you know you got to wear this faja. Like, everybody should know that. Like, bitch, did you think they was just going to give it to you if it wasn't in your contract? Like, did you read the contract? Like, she was mad she had to pay $120 for a faja. And I'm like, girl... Shit. Your ass should did your fucking research. But anyway, so fives. Make sure your fives in your package or you got one when you go there. Um, all you gotta do is like, oh yeah, you basically gotta size two sizes up because they gave me extra large and I'm really a medium. Most some girls that be like a um, extra large or like a two X, they be giving them like a four X. So you basically go up two sizes. So I still have my extra large, and so I'm just gonna take that whenever I go. Oh, and I didn't say that I'm still gonna go get another BBL. Probably not at Spectrum, even though I had like a decent experience there. But I'm still gonna go get a BBL. But that's gonna be in my other video. So watch that one. But yeah, so you gotta buy Faha. And then after that, the stage one, you need to still buy another stage two Faha. And a lot of people recommend that you buy them while you're still in Miami. And I was gonna buy mine while I was still in Miami. Um, I had the money to buy two stage two Fajas. Um, I was gonna get them like, my surgery was supposed to be on a Wednesday. I was gonna go to the Faha store. Excuse me, I was gonna go to the Faha store on Saturday and pick some out. I was probably gonna get two mediums, um, which those five hours are like $140, $120, so that was gonna be like $300 right there. So, you know, let me just add it up on the side for y'all because boom, we the surgery, $4,000. It was like $4,000. Oh, yeah, and then it didn't even add on to that that I would have needed a cell saver, so the cell saver was another $600. So, yeah, y'all, so surgery would have really would have been $4,650. Plus my $1,000 hotel, plus my $400 flight, plus my $300 Fajas, <laughs> plus my $100 massage, plus all the other shit I've just bought over time, like a female urinal, um, a BBL um, mini mattress. I'll put, I'll put pictures up here, y'all, so y'all can see. The female urinal, the BBL mini mattress, um, what else I got in there? The BBL pillow. Uh, Forex, Florex, whatever, Fordrex, whatever they are in your supplement. I ain't on pills, just you know, pills in general. Um, what else did I pay for? All types of shit. Like, it ain't this ain't for the cheap, this ain't for the cheap or for the broke. This surgery ain't for the cheap nor for the broke. And then massages, even after, like, I didn't even calculate that in there. I'm really gonna calculate that better for my next time around. But massages after, like. When you come home, you still need massages. Like, oh, and then let's not forget also your um, pre op stuff. If you live in one of them states where I know like Spectrum, they'll pay for your labs at like certain lab corporation, lab corps, or some shit like that. And they don't pay for that in New York. I live in New York State. They don't pay for that. Rochester, Puerto Rico, okay? They don't pay for that here. So um, I had to pay for the labs. Labs, I still have yet to get a bill back from how much my labs. I'm kind of scared because like they still have yet to send a bill. It's March. I did that shit back in February. I'm like, maybe it was covered, but usually they send me a bill saying it was covered. I don't know, girl. I don't know. But anyway, labs, you gotta do that. You gotta pay for them. Um, I had insurance, so uh what else you gotta pay for? EKG. My EKG was $23. It was really like a hundred or something, but my insurance paid like some of it. Um, you gotta pay for a chest x-ray insurance paid for some of that um but i still had to pay 53 dollars out of pocket for that it was really like 90 something dollars um what else you got to pay for you got to get paid to get cleared by your pcp okay um that's I'm, I'm pissed about that one i basically i still have that bill to this day i gotta go pay it um i got a bill of 127 dollars to go to my pcp to basically not I got cleared but to basically I paid that I'm about to pay this money and I didn't even get the fucking surgery I'm pissed as the fuck about that because then when I go again to get this surgery I still have to go back to my PCP to get cleared and pay another $127 to get fucking cleared by his ass and he didn't even do shit like all he did was get healthy right they did my height and my weight got my BMI and yeah so I'm like well yeah so this shit add up y'all Hey, I'm telling you, if your surgery, I'm going to just say, like, if your surgery is like mine is $4,000, you need to have like $7,000 saved up. 
that's safe to say yeah like seven thousand saved up because you need to the your 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 living situation is already what's going to cost you the most so either airbnb either a hotel either a recovery house either one of them they're going to run you over five hundred dollars flat it's probably going to be more on the thousand range but i'm a low baller for some of y'all but i'm gonna really say it's a thousand because I paid a thousand and when I was even looking like to try to find a cheaper hotel they were all equaling around a thousand eight hundred because the farther you stay you're still gonna have to get ubers to go to whatever surgery center you're going or you have to get a rental car so it, I mean it still always balanced itself out to be like a thousand dollars so it didn't matter so you're gonna end up paying a thousand dollars so that living is the most expensive thing that you're gonna be doing and then these massages, it's like $100 a pop. So that's the thing. Um, and Fajas are like $120, $140 a pop. So that's the thing. So yeah, I just want y'all to know, you know, this surgery ain't for the broke bitch, okay? When they be like, oh, broke bitches just getting hands and did. No, broke bitches ain't getting hands and Because broke bitches, either you was really like just scraping the bottom of the barrel to get your ass dead. But like, this is not for the broke. Like, I basically wasted... I don't want to say wasted because since I was in Miami and I didn't get surgery, I had a great time. Okay, y'all, I had a great time. I went out every single night. <laughs> okay, I went out to multiple places. I went out to Collins Ave. Y'all know Collins if you've been in Miami. You know Washington. You know Ocean Drive. I was out there every night. I was at Tootsie's. I was at KOD. I was at G5. I was everywhere. I seen Stun of Old Vegas. I was six in my house and it was a flip phone. I was in the head of a flip phone. Okay, I'll put the Snapchat clip up in here, the Insta clip. Okay, I was everywhere. Okay, period. Boo. Period. They said canceled. I said, oh, I'm gonna enjoy Miami. Okay, that's what I did. So if y'all got any other questions um about surgery let me know um i could tell you probably everything leading up to other than after you get a bbl so hit me up hit me on my insta okay bye y'all